So this Ask Dr. Nikki question comes from fake name Rebecca. So Rebecca says, I've been married for 15 years, I have two boys, but I never felt love in our relationship. I cheated on my husband after our first son and later we sort of kept the marriage going for the sake of the kids. Then I found out he cheated on me, but we still continued thinking still continue thinking we forget all our past and start all over again. Sorry for that stumble. But I can't find any passion towards him. He goes back to bl goes back and blames me all the time for cheating on him. We have lost our trust. I'm thinking of separation, but he is not ready because of the kids. They still need me. But meanwhile, I found this guy who really understands me and don't judge me for my mis and doesn't judge me for my mistakes in the past. But the problem is he is married too, but unhappy in his marriage. I need advice, please. I feel like we are ruining two families. We both love each other, but we don't know how to go ahead. So there's obviously two issues here. There's your relationship and there's this potential relationship with this other person. So let's first, first focus on your relationship. It seems like there has been a lot of hurt and mistrust going on in the past. And what you need to consider if the only reason you're staying there is for the kids. Studies have actually proven that two parents are better off to separate and amicably co-parent rather than to be bringing up children in a toxic household. And while, whilst there might not be yelling and screaming and fighting, you might be displaying to your children that the relationship that you have with your husband is what love should be. And if it is a loveless relationship, if there isn't that spark and that passion, then that's what they're going to pick up on and that is their script. So this is where we see those situations become more damaging for children than children who have two parents that live in two separate homes. So what I would challenge you on that one to have a look at, first of all, do you really want to end the relationship? Is there any glimmer of hope of working on things, of trying to overcome infidelity, trying to look back at this spark? But if there isn't, the reason for staying together should not be the kids. If you want to stay Focus in the best interest of the children, then you should have a look at how you can co-parent amicably from maybe two homes or being separated and save the kids from that negative scripting and role modeling of what a relationship is that you're displaying. So now we need to look at this other person. Now, I really think even though you have found this connection, you need to be careful not to jump from one relationship to the next. If you are going to be separating or leaving this partner, then you actually need to take some time to digest and recover from that before you go off into the arms of another. Now, this person is also married too. And even though their marriage is maybe an unhappy one, it's different to yours. And it's also their responsibility to work out. I would be encouraging this person that if he does see a future with you, and if there is something strong between the two of you, then he needs to work at his stuff first. You need to be a little more um, selfless and you may need to be patient and wait for him in that process. This is great in terms of timing. You have time to work out what your relationship at home is going to be. Is it going to be a co-parenting situation? How is that gonna look? How are you gonna settle the children into it? And he needs to work out whether he wants to stay or also leave his partner. But they need to be two separate situations. If you both find yourself single, and of course you can support each other if you can do it in a platonic manner, but if you do find each other single at that point, then yes, explore this connection that you have. But I think in order to make this lessen the hurt on everyone involved, you need to think independently about both of you, whether these marriages that you're in are the right things to stay in and work at or leave, but don't see getting with someone else as the easy option out. Sometimes people have been struggling for years and in unhappy relationships, but they don't have the courage to leave because they're worried about hurting their partner. They're worried about what it's gonna to do to their family. They're worried about the social implications of being a divorcee these days, which believe it or not, even though we do have a near 50% divorce rate, a lot of people are still concerned about. So when they do find this attraction to someone else and they find this connection, 
Sometimes it can feel easier to have an affair because then they have to end the relationship. If they get caught, the relationship is ended for them. So that's why I encourage you is that if this potential new relationship with this other person could be something amazing, start it off from a place of goodness. Start it off with a new beginning. Don't use it as the catalyst to both end your relationships and get out. Make sure that you focus on what's going on at home, sort out what's been going on in those relationships, and then in time, if you want to progress to something with this other person, feel free to do that. So I hope that helps and I wish you all the best on that journey. It sounds like a very complicated situation, but love is never simple. So if you have an Ask Dr. Nikki question, feel free, jump on my Facebook page, send me a message and ask me anything. Bye.